viewers, this is Rich Maggio commentating for the Narstown Eagles wrestling match against the Thacton Warriors. That was Marvin Stravix. This is the heavyweight Tajir Brittingham. Our 106 pounder, Kenya Spence. The headlock queen herself. Jared Rubin. Isaiah, also known as Mini Tucker. Sean Cauley, strongest grip on the team. Zaire Tucker. Ricky Bregenzer. Nicholas Seaman. We're going to forfeit at that weight. 170, Quinton Turner. Lakeen Wallace. Rich Maggio. Our captains, Nicholas Seaman, Rick Bregenzer, and Rich Maggio. The fact and chooses evens. And that just decides what weight class has to go out first. <laughs> the 
First match of the night, 220 pounds. For Narstown, 220 pounds. Rich Maggio is bumping up. Throwing a couple fakes in there, trying to get his opponent off balance, out of position a little bit. They're going to take it back to the center. Maggi on a low single, comes out the back door, gets the legs, tries to square up on him, and two. Now he's going for the head lever, trying to work that reinforced bar, it looks like. Misses that. Squares up, and they go out of bounds. No change. Maggio still on top. Maggio trying to go from the standing tilt. Nothing. No points rewarded. Maggio throwing the boot in. Trying to hip him over. Get some back points. And we have a potentially dangerous. If that didn't grab the fingers, or one finger, you're supposed to grab all four. He only grabbed the one and bent it back. So Maggio gets one point. Maggio gets choice and defers to Mithacton. Mithacton chooses bottom. Maggio going for the cradle. Nothing. Mathacton escapes for one point. Another low, low single. He gets two, trying to go to half. Straight to his back, and the Thacton bellies down. Going for a bar, trying to chin him back. And he almost gets a little too high, almost gets reversed. Regains his positioning. Mithacton stands up to their feet. 
Magic drops down on a leg as a single, cracks him back down to his back down to his belly. <clears throat> Maggio turns him back, but he with acting quickly squares back to his belly, so no points are awarded. Third period, Maggio's choice, he chooses neutral. Maggio getting the reinforced headlock. Looking like he's trying to throw him. Try to get the pin. They go out of bounds. Maggio get the reinforced headlock. It's a little high on it. It's getting backs though. And they go out of bounds. Magic locks up that reinforced headlock again, but they go out of bounds. No points. Magic in the front headlock. Sacton gets called for stalling. Maggio trying to pull him back in. Sacton trying to get out of bounds. Get a free, get a fresh, clean start. And Maggio gets another two. Maggio back in on the front headlock. Looks for a, I guess a gator roll. Not successful, just squares back behind him. And that's the end of the match. Maggio wins 11 to two. Now up at 285 pounds, Cezier Brittingham. Looks like this year has a couple pounds on him. But the fact that it's moving better, it looks like. Most heavyweight matches are not like this at all. They're usually very slow. These guys are looking pretty intense, though. <clears throat> In fact, he's on a high single, and he gets a two. They go out of bounds. Two nothing with that in here in the first. In fact, you're really riding that. That ankle.
Tajir gets up to his base, gets broken back down with the ankle ride again. Tajir gets up for one point, two one. This is a pretty intense heavyweight match. Acting with a shot attempt, trying to go for that another high single is not successful. Acting working that Russian, trying to square up, get hit to hip with him. This year does a good job of squaring up, staying face on face with him. <clears throat> Acting on another high single. Did not get the takedown. And that's the end of the first period. Tazir trying to get him down. In fact, he switches out. They're still neutral. Go back to the center. So they have more land. More space to wrestle on. Now it's starting to look like a heavyweight match. They're slowing down a little bit here in the second. Acting on bottom, Tajiro on top. Acting with a quick switch to his feet and gets the one point.
acting on a low shot. Go out of bounds. Another low shot, and they score. Now up at 106 pounds, the headlock queen herself, Kenya Spence. If that can get two. Working that two on one, maybe going for a tilt. I think he's going for a cradle here. His hands under the arm, though. Kenya has that arm locked up, so he can't get that cradle the right way. Kenny gets more for stalling here. Not a lot of action going on on bottom. He's kind of just tying his arm up down there. Go out of bounds. Shot attempt on a high crotch. Can you just sprawl and that can get two. It's the end of the period. Effect and choose is neutral. Can he go in for a signature headlock? Again. Effect and squares up. Can he get the underhook to block the shot? Going for the headlock again, misses it. Fact and reshoot, reshot on a single, and 
he gets a two. And they go out of bounds. Back and trying to work that reinforced bar. Needs to get to the other side for that to work. It's doing it a different way, I guess. And he goes for the regular bar. Tanya fighting, fighting hard. Doesn't look like she's going to go. That's the period. Kenya chooses neutral. Going for a headlock again. Zacton shoots into a high crotch, goes to a double. Kenya goes down. She's trying to get the head. She should let go of that. Belly down. There you go. Okay, gets a, a half in. That's tight. She goes over. And Mathatin gets the pin. Norris down four fits at 113. Now at 120, Jared Rubin. Jared is taken down right away, right to his back. Trying to get that arm through. That can get a bar in. And Jared looks like he's going to go over soon. That is extremely tight. And Mathacton gets the pin. Now up at 128 pounds, Mini Tucker.
Mini on a double. Now a high single. Gets the leg up. And Matt returns. Eh, Matt returns him for two. <clears throat> Mini cuts him. Score is now 2 1. Mini with some really nice fakes here. Thacton tries to shoot and they go out of bounds. Another double. Goes the wrong way, but still gets a two. 4 1 here in the first period. Me getting the two on one. Cuts him. 4 2. Another double. 6 2. Me going for the two on one again. Not really working for anything specific here, it looks like. Me chops the arm over. Gets the pump handle. Had his leg tied up, kicked his leg free. He's trying to get that bar on the far side here. He's going a little too fast though. He needs to slow himself, pace himself a little bit. Second period, Mini chooses his neutral. I mean, he's really getting this kid to react with his fakes. He's done another single. No points, they gotta bounce. Another double goes the wrong way again, but he still gets the two. Chops the arm over, breaks him down to his stomach. And they grab me out of bounds. Mini cuts him, gives him the one point. They're neutral on their feet again. Thacked in on a double, lifts him up, and gets two. And they go out of bounds. <laughs> Caution on red. Mini gets broken down to his stomach. Sacked him with the power half, and he pinches it off. Up to his base, up to his feet, squares up.
And they go out of bounds, no change. Minnie quickly up to his feet and gets the one. This is on a high crotch. They go out of bounds. <laughs> Minnie backing up a lot here. On a double, and nothing. They go out of bounds. I Man, he should be really sticking at those fakes right now. He's getting that kid to react really nicely with those. It's exactly what you want out of a fake. He's getting the sprawl, get out of position. On another double, lifts him up, and two. I mean, lets him go for one. I mean, he shoots again, and looks like they go out of bounds, nothing. Back in the center. Man, he looks like he's fatiguing, standing upright more, not faking as much, not as much intensity. Another shot, single leg. Man, he brings it up, tries to trip him. In fact, he tries to kick out of it, man, he brings it back in and Drills him to the ground for two. Another shot. And that's two. And Minnie with the win for Narstown. Now up, Sean Cauley. Well, Sean has been wrestling for a little while now, and uh, one thing I do have to say, he has a very strong, strong grip. Once he uh, locks in an arm, and there's no, it's, it's like giving a dog a bone, you're not gonna get it back. So he's still working that uh, Russian right now. Affecting it on a single. Sean trying to square up and he gives up two points. Nice mat return. Sean tripod and back up to his base and gets broken back down. Sean on a leg. In fact, I'm trying to get that uh, butcher boy. Shoney works up, he needs to get his hips in, and 
There you go, out of bounds. Uh, Sean should have just pushed him away and got his one point and get back to neutral. But uh, since he dove bit back in on that leg, he's still down because they never broke contact before they went out of bounds. The end of the first period, Mathathan chooses bottom for the start of the second. Shawnee needs to get to his left side. There you go. He must let him get away from him, as he's doing now. Doing a good job of recovering, though. Grinding that wrist. It looks like he's getting a little high here. Double front headlock scenario, and they go out of bounds. Sean could get a split right here if he threw his right arm underneath his leg. <clears throat> Mithakin on a double. Sean goes to his butt. And that's two for Mithakin. Sean's doing a good job of pacing back down so he doesn't give up any back points easily. Mithakin goes straight to a half, stretching Sean out. Going up to his feet fast, into the front headlock, gets his one point, escape. Working that Russian really, really well. Tracking in on a double goes the wrong way, but still gets the points. And that's the end of the second period. Northstown's choice in the third period, and Sean chooses top.
Trump putting up a pretty good ride here in the third period. <clears throat> Needs to get a couple turns. Again, he gets too high. Get his arms bundled up. And then gets reversed. Out of bounds. Actually trying to get that near side cradle. Sean does a good job of uh, getting tall so he can't lock it up. Sean gets his escape point. In fact, he's on a quick single. Sean has his head covered nicely, nice and squared up with his hips down. That's the end of the match. In fact, it wins. Now up, Zaire Henry. little low single cuts behind him and gets two cuts him for one Henry on a low single misses it not on the cradle and he gets tilted for two Back in with a nice fireman's carry. And he lets that arm go through, preventing Zaire from the easy pin. Oh, he reaches back, which is not a good move. You never want to reach back, because this is what happens. Quick double right after he escapes. Start of the second period. Henry on bottom. In fact, he chooses the optional start. Right to the head. And let's him go. Back in on a nice double again. It's the two points. Jackson's choice, they choose bottom. We have a false start of Methacton. Sire Henry just got caught with um, locking hands on top so that's one point for the other one and then he reversed in fact he reversed out here right after that for a total of three points
chinning him back here. Got his back points. Might be going for the pin now. It looks tight. Looks like he wants that pin. And he gets it. Facton wins with the pin. Now up, Zaire Tucker. So you're jacking him up, trying to throw the headlock. He gets his two points. Working that tight waist, trying to capture the wrist. Working the reinforced bar. He needs to get over to the other side, get his right knee on top of his right knee, and hit it that way. Oh, now he's just going for a regular bar, but they got banged for uh, potentially dangerous. Zaire pushes him away, gives him an escape point. In fact, he goes right back in, tries for a shot. Zaire does a good job of sprawling, getting his hits back, and he goes right into the cement mixer. Doesn't pull it off, though. Acting on an ankle pick of their own was not successful. And Zaire with the ankle pick, he got the two. Does it a good job of splitting the legs. And he's about to let it go, though. You want to keep that if you can. It's easier to turn him and get some back points, maybe even a pin. Narshan's choice, Zaire defers to Mithacton, and Mithacton chooses bottom. So you're going, trying to go big again. Throws the cement mixture. In fact, then sprawls out and they go out of bounds. Again, Zaire going big. Tries to go for the uh, double underhook throw. Hip toss and is not successful. Looks like we have an injury from Infectin. Seems to be the right knee.
So far, the team score is 8-30 to in favor of Mathacton. In this 145 matchup, Zaire Henry is winning 4-2 to with a minute and 32 seconds left to go in the second period. He's doing a pretty good job of riding him out so far. Hasn't had too much troubles with anything else yet. And I'm And he's good to go. So you're going big again, trying to get that cement mixture. Looks like he's locked up a near side cradle. We're on the edge, though. And Zaire gets a two. Score is six to two here in the second. Fact and squaring up. And they're neutral. They go out of bounds right after that. Fact and looks like they have some blood coming out of their nose, I guess. It's going to be blood time. Zaire likes to work out of the underhooks. Likes to get that big move. Going for that big move again. Doesn't get the big move, but he gets a two. Going to a quick bar. Getting some backs. It's pretty tight. Hopefully he can get the pin. Oh, he gets his, in fact, he gets his shoulder through. Zaire has another near side cradle locked up. Thatton gets his head through though. Gets the escape on a quick low shingle. Zaire does a good job of getting his hips back. <coughs> Two laces to the mat and nice textbook sprawl. A little trip action there. <laughs> Missed. And that's the end of the second period. We have an equipment malfunction. Looks like the chin strap of Zaire's headgear came loose. <laughs> 